Hey guys, this is JD Carr, and welcome to another episode of In the Booth, where we interview voice actors and actresses of Machinima's fan dub, a bridge series, and any online web series. I'm your host, JD Carr. And I am your co host, Moondream of A or Duchess, either one. Alright. And, <laughs> <laughs> and today our guest is Brandon Ree, known Machinima voice actor. So, Brandon, Ew. thank you. Hey, what's up? <laughs> It's Ray. <laughs> Why did I say Re? Ray? It says it's Brendan Ray. A lot um, of people say Riri and stuff like that. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> Great, we're offending our guest. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It hasn't even been uh, two minutes. Good job, Jay. <laughs> I'm so sorry, people in comments. I'm sorry. Anyways, but yeah, me, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, Brendan, thanks again for taking the time. Oh yeah, and so yeah, everyone, I'd like to welcome Duchess as a new crew member on this podcast. So Duchess, welcome to being the, one of the hosts on in the booth. So yay! I mean, it's not like I had a choice, but okay. What do you mean had choice? I'm joking. There was totally choices that were made. Oh, okay. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brendan, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm a writer, actor, director. Um. I'm White Knight Pictures. That's my uh, YouTube channel, and uh, I've been voice acting for around four years, and uh, it's been a good four years. And uh, yeah, so I mean, been uh, been busy though lately, so I've been able to make a lot of videos and stuff. But uh, but yeah, it's been a uh... <laughs> been a sorry. Rad. That was bad. That was bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine, man. But uh, yeah, so. <clears throat> What is it? But God damn it, I don't know what to fucking say. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, that, that, that's it. I mean, like, uh, I um, I've I've started doing machinima when um, uh, by when my buddy Riley got me into it. Uh, he was making a a series known as Spartans of Valor, and um, I got into machinima. <laughs> Sorry, what? that reminds me of a stupid line in a bridge series. <laughs> <laughs> ignore me. Ignore me for now. Oh, it's fine. It's fine, but I mean, yeah, he uh, he actually gave me my first capture card, and that's uh, that's uh, that's how I got into machinima, and uh, it got me into filmmaking. And um, after that, I kind of took some film classes in high school and realized I wanted to make movies. So it was a lot of fun, and I uh, I voice acted, and and I also started doing a lot of voice acting for a lot of people on YouTube and machinimas, and and I loved it. Uh, I used to always be the guy that died though. Like that that was uh that was me for a while like when I was voice acting. <laughs> they would be like a director contacting me, "Hey man, I need you to do these lines." I'm like, "All right, cool. I'm so excited. I love your stuff, man." It's like, "Yeah. All right, so here's your lines. Just me dying." And it's like, "Oh." Okay. Thanks. And, and so <laughs> that was me for a while and then like the the joke would be like the director wouldn't even tell me and I'd be like, "So I'm a guy who dies, right?" It's like, "Yeah. Yeah, you're the guy who dies." But I mean <laughs> Uh, eventually, I got some more main roles, and uh, and uh, it was a lot of fun. And yeah, it, it's cool. a passion of mine. But, yeah. Sweet, sweet. I love dying. Yeah. Everyone loves dying. <laughs> I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I guess what got you into voice acting? Oh, it was um actually uh, what is it? I had an old YouTube channel, and uh. Was it Riley did too, and it was called the the P one two nine one pictures, and he did a bunch of Transformers uh, stop motions, and he had an audition for uh, for the series, and uh, I actually auditioned for Optimus Prime. Uh, it wasn't the best uh, Optimus Prime in voice, and looking back now, but uh, he gave me the uh, he gave me the role for uh, Sentinel Prime, and uh, what is it? Uh, he uh, he he started getting into Machinima, and I contacted him. And uh, he, uh, we uh, became friends on Xbox, and we've been friends ever since. So it was pretty cool. I int- introduced him to the, the guys I hang out with, and actually uh, one of the guys that he uh, uh, makes all his Forge sets uh, was the guy that I introduced him to. So it's pretty cool, and um, me and Riley have been uh, working together for a long time, and he, he's, he's a good friend of mine. He really is. Uh, he gave me uh, pretty much my introduction into uh voice acting so i mean like i was voice acting for those stop motions and then i was also voice acting michael in spartans of valor which was the series he made which um was a lot of fun but looking back those those are terrible lines like <laughs> like uh like I, I was very really, cheesy lines and stuff it, it wasn't the lines it was my voice acting because he way he did it 
before. He wasn't, you know, very professional about it, but neither were, because he was just getting into everything, so he didn't know, like, everything. He's a lot more professional now, and he has all the scripts, you know, written better and stuff, but, I mean, he sent me just my lines, like, nothing else to read off of, so I just sounded like a robot. <laughs> and, I mean, it didn't help that uh, I was voice Spartans, acting. Spartans, we must attack the Covenant <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, no! The Covenant! <laughs> it, was, it was just, it was lines, it was really bad, but, I mean, and, and I mean, the Spartans of Valor ended up becoming Rise of Exodus, and... Hey, the, that sounds totally, familiar for some reason. Yeah, yeah, because uh, he rebooted the series, and uh, it's about to be over, but, um... Michael is actually one of my favorite roles I ever uh, voiced for because uh, I got to make that character myself. Uh, I, I it was just this uh, this cocky asshole character who wants to be the leader, but I got to kind of put my own spin off on the character and who I was. So I mean, like that character is me, and uh, what does it mean, Riley? Talk like no one else can fit that role but me because I am that character and I've been that character for four years now. So I, I love that role and. Uh, what is it? Part four, which is the final one, is coming out soon, and that that's my last uh, that's my last voicing for Michael. So oh. it's over. Yeah. So it's a bit emotional there. Yeah. Uh, you really hear that, love... Michael? It's over. <laughs> yeah, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get the baton to Duchess. All right. What? Uh, you asked. You already asked first roll. I already asked the first rolls. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite role? Like from then till now. Mm. Yeah, like from the time you started to this day. I'd, I'd say it'd probably have to be um, Michael from Rise of Exodus and um, the recruit from Revenge of the Spartans. Uh, those two characters, I just feel like, honest to God, like really fit my voice. Like I've been casted so many different kinds of roles. You know, tell me to, hey, do this kind of voice and sound intimidating. And I'm just like, well, you know, um, I don't really have an intimidating voice, but, you know, I love trying to, you know, stretch my voice and sound different. I love doing that. But, I mean, I, I like uh, roles that are very specific for me. And uh, the way these roles are written were very specific to me. Um, Revenge of the Spartans was fun because I was a recruit and that fits my voice. It kind of fits, you know, my personality and the way the character was written. It, it was, uh, it was pretty pretty well done and I, I loved the role and I was like yeah I'm totally gonna voice this guy and I did and uh <clears throat> still voicing him so that's cool but like I said Michael's pretty much gonna be over so and I'd say the other stuff is uh just some shorts I was with with Josh uh who's Nightmare Films um those were a lot of fun just crazy over the top you know voices and stuff it, it was a lot of fun and yeah nice wait Sweet. All right, my turn. So, <laughs> right. Brendan, do you prefer live voice direction or you just go from the script itself? Most of the time, I'm just going from the script, but I prefer live voice direction. Uh, there's very yes. few roles where I got to do that, though. I'd say um, what well, one of them was uh, I was uh, voicing a delinquent pair, um, and uh, what was it? Zed was uh, telling me how to do these certain lines and how to Were voice. Were you one of the drunk these. guys? Yes, I was one of the drunk All right, guys. I recognize your voice. Yeah, he wanted me to audition for another role. I was going to be a bigger character, but I didn't get that role, unfortunately. It's one of my favorite series to watch, The Link of Hair. It's like Even freaking, though it takes like two years per episode. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I hate about it, but uh, I ended up being the drunk guy. But uh, he, I love voice direction because it really tells you you need to do it like this, you know? So when you get those lines sent in, they're exactly how the director wants them. He doesn't go like, oh, you did this wrong, do it again. You know, and then I may not have time to do that line again. So, you know, exactly. live voice direction all the way. It, it's definitely the way to do it. See, my cinema directors, you guys should do live voice direction. Don't Please just do. give us the scripts. Yeah, Evan. I mean, what? Oh, <laughs> hey, don't. We're not saying <laughs> any, We're not saying any names. I mean, we're not naming names, Evan. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't worry about it. They don't know what's Evan. They don't know who Evan is unless, and of course, it just you... builds a better relationship yeah. with the director and the actor. You know, like because what is it? Um, Josh. You know, uh, he he did that kind of stuff for me too, and uh, it was just a lot of fun because we'd be sitting there laughing at how ridiculous some of the stuff would sound, and he'd be like, "Yeah, it's perfect. That's the way I want it." And that's what you want to hear from the director. That it's exactly how they wanted it. It's, it's how they pictured it when they wrote it. You know. So you, they don't get all pissed off and, yeah, 
fuck, you do it again, you know? So. And plus, it kind of gives you also a chance to say, like, hmm, what if we change this line to be like this? Exactly. You know? and, and then the, you have the director's permission right there, you know? So he doesn't get pissed if you do something different. Yeah. Yeah. It also gives both parties more experience, like the director getting more experience directing, like actually exactly. directing, and the voice actor receiving that's direction. Because that's also something you need as a voice actor is they're, to get we're used called to machinima. direction. Yeah. Because we're called machinima, quote unquote, directors, but we're not really directing much. We're just kind of telling people do where this, to go. Do this, do that. Yeah, just stand here, walk here. Bob I mean, your head. Yeah, it's not a lot of directing there. Teabag. Really. Yeah. <laughs> No, yeah. T-Bag with the left nut. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, that's just your turn. Right. Um. Oh, it's okay. When you say uh, this question, the way you wrote it, um, who is your favorite VA to work with? Does does he do the people we interviewed? Do they direct? Also, Are you asking like who's your favorite just person in general to work with like like someone to- like voice actor that he that you have worked with like on any project i haven't really worked with a lot of direct uh, not direct voice actors i mean like i've talked with them and i what is it i i think uh i haven't really yeah i really haven't worked with um voice actors that much i have the only like like i said because the only time i've done live direction was um it was just me and the director. Uh, I haven't ever really worked with any other actors. I would totally love to, because uh, what is it like? I always watch like it was like Mark Hamill and uh, Kevin Conroy sitting there voice acting for the Batman series, and you know they're just sitting there together and they have that you know chemistry. I've never gotten to have that chemistry, and I would totally love to. But uh, okay, I mean, let me rephrase we can, that. We, we can switch it to like who's okay. who, your who favorite you... person to work with or there director we go. to work with. Who who is my favorite person I would like to work with? That and who was your favorite director to have worked with? Also, I'd say um, my favorite director I had worked with is Zed. Um, Zed really knows what he's doing. Like Zed is he's going to be the next Quentin Tarantino, and I'm not joking about that. <laughs> I, I just I feel like he really knows how to connect with the actors. They and... have bendy straws here. <laughs> <laughs> I still laugh yeah. at that line. Oh my god! Yeah. What? Just, bendy it was, straws? It, it was was it was from Delinquent Pair one episode. Yeah. yeah. He's like, I, I got you a sprite with the bendy straws. Like, oh, they have bendy straws here. Yeah. <laughs> See that kind of level of characteristic, like the way he writes it, and he just knows what actor to cast, and that's just he really is, he's my favorite director I've worked with, and I mean I've only done like some very small stuff with him, but the stuff I did, I mean I feel like I've gotten a, a giant experience working with him. Like he's just a, he's a great director. Nice, nice. <laughs> All right. Okay. Wait. How about how about uh, machinima voice actors that you would love to work with? Hmm. I love to or work, work alongside. I or work, guess. Yeah, or work like alongside. You don't direct. Work alongside. Um, I guess. Uh, Brandon Tran. I really love Brandon Tran. I, I oh, take Brandon. a lot of ins- inspiration. Oh, Brandon. From him. Oh, Brandon. I really do. <laughs> it's always it, no. There's Brandon Co. Brandon Ray. Brandon Tran. There's so many Brandon Brandons. Like God needs to stop. I noticed that with Miss Cinema people. I'm like, it's all <laughs> B names. What is this? Yeah, I know. Well, but I really do. I like Brandon Tran a lot. Like the way he does his acting, and I mean, like I took a lot of pointers from him, and I would I would totally love to work with him. Um, I feel like it, it'll be he because he he has he's taught he taught me a lot. Um, he, you know, he told me how to do this and certain this, and I don't know. He he gave me a bit like because like I'd send him my lines like, hey, what do you think of this? And he'd be like, oh, you know, you could do this a little bit better. And I I feel like we would work well together, Brandon Tran. Uh, He's one of my favorite uh, voice actors. He's uh, voice actors out of the mission in the world. How about, how about actress? Actress. That's hard. Just say actress if you don't know any. I haven't met many. Uh, <laughs> I haven't met many voice actresses. Like I know. Uh, um, wink, wink. Alex. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know I know Alex and I mean Alex is pretty good and you know she uh she started out working with Josh and kind of worked her way up and she's pretty cool. Um, Katie I, I don't know her last name but uh, Katie Kosar. K- Kosar she's really good. Uh, she she came out of nowhere caught me by surprise. Uh, I really like her. I, I feel like I'd really like to work with Katie. Katie is a good uh, Katie is a good voice actress and 
you know, she can she can kind of stretch her voice and play different characters. Like I've seen her play many different kinds of characters, which is cool because most female voice actresses, no offense, they just get casted one kind of voice. That's it, and that's all what they the time. are for the rest of their lives. That's it. Like as much I love you, Alex, but like you don't like you're never casted in anything where you can um kind of explore your voice more. Well, and, uh, she did. Shame. I will say that I, I would vouch for her. She I, did. I just may haven't seen. I know. I know she voice acted in my Dead Space that I did. She did a fantastic job with all the weird demon voices and stuff. Like she's a really good voice actress, but people just give her the same damn role. That's it. And I, I really would like to see her go, you know, and get some more different kinds of roles. But like I said, I haven't seen everything she's a part of, so I can't say that as a fact. But uh, she is. She she's really good. Like. I'd like to see her. Uh, I'd like to see her do some more stuff. All right. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, Duchess, you could take this next one as well. Okay, then who's your favorite professional voice act- actor actress? I'd have to say Mark Hamill. Like without a doubt, like his his Joker is incredible, and I know he is the best Joker hands down ever. Out of movies, out of anything, the, his voice is the Joker. That's what I think of when I think of the Joker. Uh, he's he's a great actor, but uh, God, the, the, his voice as the Joker is awesome. And I mean, he's done some other really great roles as well, but his work as the Joker was awesome. And I mean, like I I love all kinds of like voice. Like what is like uh, Brian Pappenbrook, uh, he voices uh, Kitty Toe and Sword Art Online. And uh, right, Brian or Bryce. Oh, Bryce Pepin. Why is it Brian? God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, he's That's a good, you're he's, out. He's, may he, he's may a good he, voice actor. May he he's rest in peace, that. Brian Pappenbrook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brian Pappenbrook. No, he, he's a really good voice actor, and uh, he can really, uh, he'd really get emotional and stuff. He he was a bit of an inspiration for me, because I like to do lines where I get over emotional and stuff like that. It's it's a fun kind of role to, to do. And... um. I guess one to name off top of it, Peter Peter Cullen. Uh, he voices Optimus Prime. Uh, uh, love love that guy. His voice acting is really great. He also voiced Eeyore in um, Eeyore in um, what is it? Winnie Pooh. the Pooh. Yeah, he did that. Those are two opposite ends. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Oh, he's Optimus Prime, um, but he's also Eeyore. From a robot to a donkey. <laughs> exactly, but I mean, uh, the, nobody else can do that voice as well as he can, and uh, I hope he voices Optimus for as long as he can, because. Uh, no one can replace that voice, so yeah. <laughs> how about how about actresses? Actresses. Hmm. Well, that's hard because I I don't I don't know many voice actresses. Like um, I don't know, honestly. Yeah, that's awkward. <laughs> I'm just trying to think. I also have trouble. Like, instantly, Christina V comes yeah, to Yeah, like, I'm just like, like oh, wait a remember? minute. Voice actresses? I don't know. Like, I don't know. <laughs> well, like, it makes me sound is... terrible, but I mean, <laughs> I'm written in the sexist. No. I mean, I, I don't know. Wait, what? I'm just kidding, though. <laughs> I don't know. That, no, I, I, I don't know any. That, that sounds terrible. Just say Wendy Lee. Wendy Leo, whoever the fuck that is. Awesome! I love Yay, Wendy Lee same too. Here. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> high five. I, I I think the the girl who did the voicing for Asuna was pretty good. Oh, Sherry Lee. Yeah, Sherry Lee. She's pretty good. I liked her. Like I don't know. Like I I know like many roles like that I liked that female voice actresses. I just don't know their names. I know it sounds bad. Yeah, but... don't worry, same here. I don't know. I'm really like know that, but like with all genders and people get mad at me. They're like, you're going to be a voice actor. Shouldn't you at least know like what, like you should know things. I'm like, nah. we're, we're all doing the same thing. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm more just the film guy though. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Hmm. I was going to say, um, Okay, I lost my train of thought. Uh, <laughs> Duchess, help no. me out here. <laughs> my favorite question to ask people is if you could voice any character in anything, Ooh. even if they already have English dubbed or anything, what would it be? God, if you could just that's a choose. hard one. Oh my god, that's that's a hard one. That's, it's that's really a lot of, that's a lot of characters. <laughs> well, who would you voice, Duchess? Yeah, who would you um, voice, Duchess? Put me on the spot like that. 
<laughs> I would love to voice Yunogasa from Mirai Nikki. Oh, the crazy girl. Jeez. Yeah, I'm going as her to Sakurakan. Pretty great. Nice. You gonna bring like a, some fake scissors with you? I was. I'm debating on even bringing a prop because I don't. I am notorious for putting my cell phone down in the middle of a mall. Oh, so I would not be surprised if I just left my prop somewhere and just walked away. Like that's why I don't have purses or my wallet with me usually is because I'll put it down and <laughs> leave it. <laughs> but I've never had it stolen, so I'm good. <laughs> oh yeah. God, so uh, back to you. I don't Which know. Voice? That's so okay, hard. Okay, here, here, I'll go next. <laughs> Let's see. I would kind of go for what's his face from Nisei Koi. He's the guy with glasses. I'm not very familiar with Nisei that Koi. Guy with glasses. So. It's like it's he's like the sidekick to the main character. He acts all pervy, but he's a very good guy. Like those types of characters. I think that's kind of what you could say for every guy. <laughs> every guy, but he's real like, or he, animated. He's, he's like those side characters that, that he's like a buddy to the main character. Those guys. You would voice him. Well, you know. <laughs> change change the pace because i always get like all these serious roles you know change the pace yeah serious okay. <laughs> still waiting on the interviewee to answer the question yeah brandon I, I know, I know. these questions in an interview are for you not for us <laughs> i know i know um great way you really killing. can't think of it just we, we we can move on if you really have no, no i mean thought. i mean there, like because there's, there's a lot of roles like i, I would love to be I'd okay, love what to are voice... your top three? Top three, how uh, about that? Okay, Optimus Prime. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love Optimus Prime. Uh, Batman. I would totally love to be Batman. Who wouldn't want to be Batman? I want to be Batman. I want to be Batman. <laughs> What's wrong? I want to be Batman. <laughs> uh, but then, um... Deadpool. <laughs> Deadpool. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be a fun role, Deadpool. Oh yeah. That... Someone like Deadpool, absolutely. Somebody crazy. You know, like something like, like a character like that. Absolutely, because I I love the over the top crazy roles. Deadpool, man, that'd be awesome. I still uh, need to see the movie. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Deadpool. I'd, I'd probably want to be Deadpool. See the movie. It comes out in February. Yeah, it comes out in February. Oh, I thought it already did. Right. No, I can't wait. I cannot wait till February. Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds is gonna kill that role. He is Deadpool. Born to play that role. Yeah. Born to play that role. Even X Men Origins, even though that was like a small role. It was great. Oh, I I laughed my ass off on the part where he's like, "Okay, people are dead." Like just the way he says it, like, "Oh my, like he, he he was funny." I hated the Deadpool they made in Origins, but he was great on what he was at. You know. I will say though, it, that was not Ryan Reynolds. That was Scott Atkins. Scott Atkins, what are you talking about? He's a MMA. Well, not MMA. He's a martial artist. Okay, so the the person who was that Deadpool was Scott Atkins. Yeah. yeah. Well, what Ryan Reynolds was, you know, what I'm talking about, like at the beginning. Yeah, he, he was Wade. Yeah, he, Wade was awesome. Yeah. Wade, Wade Wilson, everybody. All right. So let's see. Let me see. I'm trying to think of another question. So, ooh, do you think this is probably something that I'll probably get hated from? Do you think you'll move on from voicing from Machinimas, like you know, like Jason Axelrod, Daniel Hodge, because they moved on from voicing from Machinimas? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I've been trying to stick my neck out trying to find other kinds of roles because I, I, I really want to uh, I want a voice in you know like something like 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 an anime or you know like a TV show or something like that I, I feel like I have the potential to to, to be some sort of character and uh, yeah absolutely I, I really want to move on from that and that's like what I'm in trying an to do like or fan dub like anime fan dub yeah try, it, try yeah, that those are anime. fun man abridged fan dubs very yeah. fun it would be it'd be a blast and yeah i i'm like, like what is it a uh, i've a uh, what is it a uh, i forget what his name is i mean i i was in contact with this guy who does lego stop motions you know just anything besides machinima because i've been voicing you know my voice has been coming out of spartans too much and you know i i want to i want my voice to come out of something else you know that has their mouth moving as well so <laughs> no you can more emotion in the face no yeah. more spartans no more elites yeah you know stuff like that no Can more you imagine OGSTs in 300? Either. No more Sparta! <laughs> See, an elite is super easy to voice, so you're just like, blah, 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 bl
Well, then this opens another avenue of questions. Have you Here, seen just any abridged series? What? What'd you say? Have you seen any abridged series? Um, I've seen the ones that uh, GH Nathan's done. He's done a lot of. He voiced a lot of the characters himself, but he did a lot of Dragon Ball Z abridged stuff. God, it was hilarious. Have you seen He's... anything like Little Karibo stuff or Team Four Star? Uh, I've seen the Attack on Titan abridged. And Everyone uh, has, and it's awesome. Okay, it is. <laughs> Just oh leave it at that. God. Just leave it at no, that. No, like the the commander. Holy, oh. shit. so fucking funny. He's like, go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> Eating some potatoes there, God! Like, oh my God, this is so funny. I, I saw a bridge. I saw a bridge before I saw Attack on Titan. Props. I know. To the, like, I've actually seen a lot more bridge series than I've seen the anime, and like, props it doesn't to the guy that Commander. He was hilarious. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Yes. Yes. So was fun. it Brendan? I'm gonna link you a clip to something hilarious after this. <laughs> God. Okay. Let's I've see. seen Sword Art Online a bridge too. That one was. That Bye. one was. Okay. We must ready? see my family. Yeah. <laughs> which Sword Art Online a bridge? Because yeah, there's a lot one? of this thing. Just, just from the first like 15 episodes of season one, that those and they were. That doesn't like, answer the question. That doesn't answer the question. <laughs> which one? There's so many. Yeah, probably the, that's of... most, that I clicked on the one that was most popular. Okay, I'm not then, sure. okay, good. That's probably something witty entertainment. And funny enough, I might be voicing Yui, the little fairy girl. <gasps> oh wow, that's awesome! Oh my god, you guys gotta get me hooked up in this stuff. I want to do stuff like this. Oh <laughs> well, I do a bridge stuff, and yeah, I yeah, check out check out Duchess's going. stuff. She's done the with Don Don Machi. Machi. Yeah, that's and awesome. Chobits. I love Chobits. <laughs> oh jeez. Um, what is the other ones that I know of? Have you heard? Okay, my favorite Bridger slash voice actor slash everything is Purple Eyes. Purple oh, Eyes of UTF. Yes. He does Code Mint, which is a Code Geass bridge, but he's the one that came up with Mint, and it basically, a bridge is almost like making fun of the series, but Mint is just yep. like doing whatever the heck you want. And, <laughs> geez, like, have you seen any of his stuff? I'm not sure. I mean, link me to it. I want, I want to watch it because I like it. Okay, after this, we need to watch at least a Code Mint episode. We shall. All right. Have you seen any, like, the Pokemon ones? There's a lot of Pokemon abridged. Yeah, I, I think I've probably seen some of the Pokemon ones. I have a friend. By Kids? Yeah, it, I, I'm think, I'm think so, yeah. Because I have a friend who's obsessed with the Pokemon and he likes the abridged <laughs> stuff. And he showed me a lot in his phone. <laughs> yeah. And I, I just, it brought to my mind, I just remembered, um, have you seen the anime Free? That's Free? One? Yeah. No, no, I haven't well, seen Do you at least know what it is? Yeah, I mean, the, this is gonna sound, but it, like, the only thing I know of Free was there, there's this dude who reviews Figmas, and he reviewed the main character from Free, so that that's literally oh, all I I didn't even know they had They do, they have a, they have like a Figma that. Free, they, yeah, they have a Figma <laughs> Free, apparently, so. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. But, um... Is this some a guy shirt who... off? <laughs> they all. <laughs> <laughs> they all. Um, there was there's a guy who does a really successful one. He used to do Homestuck comic dubs. I I've never seen Homestuck but comic I just dubs. Know that... Yeah. That's awesome. The he... death of Spider Man. That was my favorite. I'm sorry to mean to interrupt there. It's okay. Um, his name's Octopimp. He and another guy, Sparky the Android, uh, a Bridget, and it's actually really interesting. I didn't know, but the, he knows uh, Aaron Hansen from Game Grumps, and he actually had him voice in wow, it. That's, Holy that's crap! Cool. Yeah, I was like, that's awesome. And then he invited uh, Octopimp to he, they do Grump Cave now with uh, Ross and Aaron. Wow. Yeah, so tough. I'm like, that's kind of like like a score one for the Abridgers, because like... You gotta know people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, 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 oh, dang. Yeah. That's insane. And then, of course, Octopan voices in... Um... Wait, no. Uh, Purple Eyes voices in Octopan stuff. I don't know. Octopan doesn't really voice in other people's stuff very often. I think he's pretty busy. Well, he yeah. is. We're all busy. I mean, like, I got college and work now, so... Ugh. Yeah. To, to anybody who wants me to do their lines, I'm trying to get them done, but I'm busy. We all I'm have busy. lives, okay? We all have we lives. Have, we have lives! I know! Sitting I on a computer all the time. 
I used to be able to sit on a computer all the time, but I'm in, I'm I'm out of high school now, you know. Now I'm adult an adult. <laughs> yeah, I'm an adult now. We pay our taxes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right, Jay. Do you have any other questions? Um. Let's see. I guess we'll move on to this one. Future plans in the future, Brendan. What are your future plans? My future plans for voice acting or just in general? Either or. Uh, okay, I mean, I, I plan on... Right now, I'm just going to college, which is community college, and I'm trying to get uh, all the basic shit out of the way, and then I'm going to go to UNT, major in film there, and hopefully get a job in a studio, and hopefully voice act as well for as many people as I can, because I always try to do that. Like, voice acting is more of like the side thing that I do. But uh, I definitely want to work in a studio one day for a big Hollywood production or just a you know a smaller one. I, I just want to work on movies and stuff. That's what I want to do. It's, it's, that's my dream. Movies. <laughs> nice. High five, man. We'll both be filmmakers. Hopefully one of these days we'll meet up. Oh yeah, absolutely, man. I love I love collabing with directors, dude. We gotta do we gotta do stuff. Nice. I will say that all I have is a Nikon DSLR. I got a Canon Rebel T5i right now. <laughs> oh, lucky bastard. It's a good camera. It's a good camera. I like it. Do you at least have like a road mic? Yeah, yeah. I got the... For Christmas, I got the camera, the road mic, and three lenses, but I only really need the, the fixed focus right. lens. So How I got about that. any um, light fixtures? What do you mean like fixtures? What do you mean like on that? like? Well, you know, you know, like set up lights or stuff, you know, staging. I don't, I don't got any lights yet, no. Mm -mm. But I mean, I'm, I'm going to. I mean, I, I usually I usually just get those off of people like uh, whenever I shoot, because I haven't gotten to shoot much live action stuff with the stuff I did. Whenever we needed lights, we uh, we actually went to a church and they gave us lights, like these really big ones. And oh, we, nice. Uh, yeah. So, and, and then we would use them for whatever we needed and yeah. All right, cool. So I think we're gonna I think we're gonna start wrapping up here. So, Brendan, you got any advice to anyone that wants to become an aspiring voice actor, or actress, or I guess eventually filmmaker, director? Um, just keep doing what you're doing. You know, I mean, I know eventually, like, maybe busy life's gonna hit you in the face and you don't get to do much of it anymore. But just keep doing it. Keep the dream alive because nothing's impossible. I mean. I'm I'm going to college to achieve my dreams, you know. Go to, go to college to tell you that because uh you know, not everybody can make it big in this world just out of the blue, you know. But uh I mean, for anyone who's starting to voice act, um take any role you can and just do the best you can with it and uh have a decent microphone coming from the guy who started with a phone mic. But I mean, you know, um <laughs> have a decent microphone cuz quality is very important. But uh, just have fun with it, you know, because if you're not having fun voice acting, it's definitely not something you should do. Yeah, you, in, in really indulge yourself into the character you're being. Pretend you are that character. I mean, that, that's what you're supposed You are that character, you know, and, and just have fun with it. And that's, that's my advice. All right, cool. Wise words, <laughs> wise words. So, Brandon, I want to thank you again for joining me in this podcast. Yeah, no problem, man. And Duchess, yeah. welcome to welcome to the in the booth crew. Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> welcome to the crew. No, welcome but thanks for having me. No okay. problem, man. It's been so. a pleasure. Woohoo! It's been a pleasure. So yeah, everyone, welcome Duchess again into the crew, and Brandon, thank you again. And this concludes this episode of in the booth. So we'll see you next time, guys. See ya. Hey.